So this has got me stumped. I uh, teach SolidWorks at Central Washington University to young engineering students, and part of the class is a weekly evaluation where the students uh, model something in SolidWorks under a time constraint. I usually measure that by taking the mass properties, either the mass or the center of the mass, or, or, or both, perhaps, in a manner that's similar to the certification tests. But what got me uh, on this one, with 19 students in my class, I noticed that five of the 19 students got different values on a very simple part. And they can't really explain that. In fact, what makes this even uh, more strange is that uh, when I do their part, when I take the rollback bar and do their part my way, which is the same way they do it, I get the right answer. My answer is always the right answer. And uh, they get the wrong answer, uh, or a different answer. And uh, the different answers they get are inconsistent. They, they vary a little bit between each other. And uh, I'm not certain what we're doing wrong. We did these things exactly the same way in class and still got the wrong numbers. So just a little bit of a background. Um, what we're doing is we're drawing, uh, we're sketching a, uh, a very simple rectangle, a center, uh, uh, a center rectangle. And uh, the dimensions are, are on that in millimeters, uh, 230 millimeters uh, wide, 200 millimeters tall, and then uh, their extrusion is uh, 48 millimeters. Simple enough, make a block, mid-plane extrusion, uh, so that uh, you know the origin's right there in the middle, and you have all the planes lined up in the middle, too. And then, on the front face, we put a fillet in there, a 35 millimeter fillet. Simple enough. Select the edges, select the, the face. Either way, uh, I come up with the right answer, they come up with the wrong answer. To finish up the part, uh, we put in some holes, symmetric holes, four of them on, the, on that face, too. But we can't get beyond the fillet. I get a different answer from what some of my other students get. So my answer is uh, 15986.94 grams when we get the block and the fillet in. And my students get a slightly different answer. Uh, 15987.00 is what Mr. Uh, Bandar got. And then uh, Mr. Smith, Mr. Hoxberger, Mr. Zhang, and uh, Mr. Holt uh, got similar answers. Um, 15987. Uh, dot o o dot o two dot o one they all varied uh, a little bit most of them got dot o o on that so uh, what follows now is going to be a video of what we shot in class I did it they did it I took the part that was incorrect I took the rollback bar and I did it my way and got the right answer uh, Bandar did it a different way and got the wrong answer hate to say you got the wrong answer but a different answer perhaps but uh, look at the video and see what you uh, what you uh, can make out of it and try to replicate this. And if you got any uh, feedback on it, uh, let me know. Certainly, I'm curious enough to see what's going on with this. This is our, our IET 265 class here at Central Washington University. It's uh, the third day of April 2013. Uh, we're in the middle of class here, and some of the students, five students out of about 20 students, got a wrong value when we we're trying to put this very simple part together. It's nothing more than a um, uh, you know, rectangular prism in the background and a fillet on it. All in uh, millimeters, so 230 millimeters, 200 on the side. It's a mid-plane extrusion, and then we have a 35 millimeter um, fillet on it. The thickness of it is 48 millimeters. Now, the thing about this is, when I do the part, which I think is correct, and most of the class got it correct, um, you know, about 15 out of 20 students, so uh, we got the right mass value. When these two students do it, they seem to get the wrong mass value, and we seem to be doing it the same way. But when I touch the mouse, it comes out correct. When they touch the mouse, it doesn't. So we're going to demonstrate this. So right now what we're shoot, uh, shooting for is a mass down here. Of, uh, what I get is 15986.94 for this value. And um, these gentlemen, I'm going to let them introduce themselves to you. Uh, I'm Samuel Holt. Um, Vandar Day. Okay. I'm going to do it first. I'm going to do it my way. This is Vandar's work. Vandar's work. And um, it's, I think, is the wrong number. So I'm going to take the rollback bar and roll this up, and we're going to do it again. So this way it keeps some of the parameters here unchanged. So we're going to go to sketch, we're going to get a, a center rectangle. And this is the way Bandar was doing it, so I'm going to do it his way. We're going to pick on the front plane first, and we're going to click on the mid, the midpoint, uh, or the, the center rec rectangle. Sketch that out, I'm going to make it normal too, just so we can see it a little bit better, and then we're going to put our smart dimensions on it. So this is 230, this is 200. And now we're going to extrude it. Extrude boss space, 48 millimeters. It remembers the value we had in there before. Instead of blind, we're going to do mid plane. And the desire is to make sure that the origin stays in the middle. And now we're going to put our fillet in here. 
We're going to keep the same values it did be before, and we're just going to click in this space and green check mark. And when we go up to value and get to mass properties, I get my value here. It's different from his. 15986.94. So, I'm going to let Bandar do this. He's going to do it uh, in a similar manner. I'll just take a rollback bar and put it up there and let him do his uh, magic. <laughs> okay. Hello, everyone. Okay, so start with Sketch. You got the front plane selected. Mention 230. Okay, very same as I did. Now I didn't put it on that side, but it shouldn't make a difference. Did midplane. Okay, so far so good. I can't see any difference between the way you're doing it and the way I did it. Click fillet. Fill it. Sorry, fill it. <laughs> These guys are new. And <laughs> yes, yeah, Sam. Uh, and in the just face. click a face over there. Yeah. Green check. And now go up to your mass properties. Why is that a different number? You did it the same way. <laughs> There's something I'm doing. <laughs> Okay. Are you recording right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm, I'm recording right now. Okay, why don't you swing around and show us? Okay, hello. This, this is Chris Scarlett. This is Bandar. This is Bandar. <laughs> and these are our, the magic modelers here. Okay, so the question to the SolidWorks community is uh, what are we doing wrong here? What yeah. are we doing right? Why is it different? I can't and figure it out. The only difference was we dimensioned from. Uh, Bandar dimensioned from that side, and Mr. Scarlett here dimensioned from that side for that value, and that was the only difference. Yeah, but we've done this uh, at least, what, five or six times in this class, <laughs> yeah. still, yeah, still to get consistent still. results. I get it right, my values, <laughs> yeah. and you guys get it wrong. So, so let me put it to the SolidWorks community out here. These guys are not going to get a good grade in their, uh, in their <laughs> lessons this week, unless we get this figured out. <laughs> yes, so there's a little bit of pressure here. Okay, it's ready to end? Yeah. Okay.